path, the path, the path. You should see the path Rob said was a path. We had to like, we needed a machete to get through the trees. Yeah. Wasn't Actually, it was, it was more of a game trail. We're hoping to find our really cool boondocking spot that we found last November, end of November last year, and we came through this way from out west when we built out the van, and it's kind of hidden and we're really trying to find it here, and I hope we do, and we're really hoping it's open that it's not packed with people. Too much, too much, too much. Oh, hang on, bird. We're going for it. Oh, jeez. Can you see? Can you see? Nope. Uh, I told you just to indicate the turn. You should have listened to your wife. Oh, no, no. You no. should have listened to your wife. I told you where it was. Oh, highly overrated. I told you where it was. It looks you know open, what? though. It's, it's around the next bend. Just hang on a little longer. <laughs> don't talk to me, so degrading. Daddy, I'll get okay, you. In there. No, don't Daddy, talk to I'll me. Get don't you do you that. Don't talk, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> go as slow as you want. People can go around you. Okay, it's coming up pretty soon. Sometimes what you want down. ain't what you need. Sometimes letting go can make your heart bleed. Sometimes the road ahead seems dark as night yeah. Have some faith in yourself, that's the guiding light You should know that when your dreams have hit the ceiling and fallen back Swings open, that's life, and not to dwell upon the darkest hour they say is just before dawn. Do you want me to film you? <laughs> okay, guys, so here we are. We've uh, reached our destination, and it's on Lake Superior. And as you can see, there's the van in the background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get behind the camera and I'm going to do a little uh, spin to show you what uh, we're looking at. So anyway, check this out. And this is a, uh, a boondocking uh, site. It's a free camping crown land. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to go to the other end here. There's Janet in the van. And I'm going to go up a little bit further. Oh, she's celebrating already oh she loves this <laughs> so anyway I'll just do a little walk here keep the van somewhat in the frame okay so as you can see there's the van and here is where we are And what we're going to do is, as you can see, we are going to follow this trail because it goes out to this point and we can see around the shoreline. There, there it is there, but here's the point that we're on and we're going to go check it out. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll be right back. So have you ever wondered how powerful Lake Superior must be? This is all just kind of small rocks. And they've been pushed up, I guess, from the ice movement and all that type of thing. And uh, there's Janet trying to make her way down here. It's not exactly easy walking, but uh, yeah, you kind of got to scramble through this stuff and it rolls underneath your feet. But it is beautiful. So anyway, we're going to take a little uh, walk down that trail 
and see what's on the other end or other side of this point. Okay, so here's the other side of that uh, point that you see to the left. Going around here. And Janet just said she may have changed her mind on where she wants to set up the homestead for the night. Anyway. Are you allowed to change your mind? I wonder if it's getting more open spots. No? So you have better access to get into here. In the morning, can we have already walk around it? This is the problem that we're facing right now, is that too many choices. Like, look at it. It's just, where do we go? We'll kind of show you around here. And uh, this is a site that we did go by initially, and we went one further, and that's where we are. Now, this one is more open, and there's more sites. Uh, there's what one two three four five six fire pits here and you know all kinds of uh, Options for uh, the different uh, Places that we can park so anyway, I think Janet's up here So anyway, yeah, we could all we could also have this one right here well, I can't decide what to do. This is so cool. Like this is nice Rob because you can have access but then it's not as private. People could be coming in here and parking right beside us. Yeah. I think the other one's more private. But, you know you what? You can walk around the path and, and come into it. The path. The path. The path. You should see the path. Rob said was a path. We had to, like, it, we needed a machete to get through the trees. Yeah. What's Actually, it was, it was more of a game trail. <laughs> where bears go. Yeah. I don't know. I love this spot here, too, Rob. It's parked right up here. Yeah, if you want, we can do that. I, I don't think it matters. If you want to come here, all I gotta do is get the van and just roll over here. Stay over here for now and get an idea how busy this is tomorrow. everybody well I'm blown up by the Sun here Woo! should see what we're looking at here now I press this three times right Rob yeah here there's a container to put those things in once they're done now it turns around now I show what we're doing and where we are we are on Lake Superior at this epic epic boondock spot look at this looks like we're on the moon except for all the water <laughs> or maybe the Oregon coast almost but not quite as epic it's similarly epic for Ontario. This is Rob. This is our dinner. We're making... Uh, We're sautéing vegetables so that we can make... Are they cooked enough? Yeah. Okay. So, what we're, doing. so we're just doing some uh, sweet onion, peppers, and mushrooms. Yeah, probably some more in there. Oh, that's a lot of the onions and stuff. Uh, maybe a little bit more. You think? So we're putting that together, cooking half to use for another time, and the other ones we're using for our dinner tonight. And we're gonna do uh, chicken, leftover chicken, with uh, peppers, mushrooms, and onions, and leftover greens, such as spinach and arugula and stuff, and some mushroom soup that we had laying around in our pantry, and some mushroom, mushroom, can't talk, 
I haven't even had a beer yet. Mushroom ravioli? Is it ravioli? Yeah. Yes. Mushroom ravioli. Fresh mushroom ravioli. Looks delicious. Rob's putting it together. Rob, you're not supposed to eat the chicken. Yeah. You put the chicken in now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's Parmesan to put on at the end, too. So now I'm going to go outside and show everybody the, the view. Excuse okay. me, please, sir. Excuse me. I'm going to go outside and show the view. This is what Rob's been working on, the campfire here. We're not sure if we're going to do it here. It's a little bit close to the vehicle. We might use the pit that's over there. Um, we've got our chairs set up here. Got little pathways. There's actually three fire pits here. Uh, we got our cook stove there if you want to cook outside. But wait till you see the view here, guys. This is incredible. Here's our van, Ramona. We did all our laundry today and had showers, and we're all set to be here. Loaded up with some groceries, so we could be here for a bit. And look at this view. Hopefully, it's not too blown out. You can see it. But look at this view. This is crazy. So the rocks here look to be mainly granite. This whole beach is just broken up rocks as far as you can see and then big jagged rustic rugged shoreline with huge jetted rocks with trees growing out of them. Absolutely gorgeous. A little tricky to walk on here. So you can see a little tricky to walk. Ooh, a little tricky. But look at that. Look at this sunset. How amazing is this? How incredible is this sunset? Here on Lake Superior. We've been watching the cormorants come in and diving for for their fish or whatever they're diving for. And you can actually see another shoreline out over that way as well in the distance. It is absolutely gorgeous here and we have it all to ourselves. This is all for us right now. And it's epic. And there's Rob on our site. And I better go help or I'm going to be in trouble. So we'll catch up with you guys maybe later when we have a campfire because Rob's got some wood all prepared for that. And uh, just enjoying this beautiful, beautiful sunset. When, hope everyone's having an amazing day. Okay, here's the almost finished result. It's looking pretty delicious. Has to just uh, thin down a little or thicken up a little bit more, but we're getting there. So this is mushroom pasta with mushrooms and some leftover greens and mushroom soup and peppers and onions. Is that it? Yep. That's pretty much it. And Parmesan cheese and rom. And rock. And a beautiful sunset. Woohoo! Epic. And chicken. And chicken. Oh, that's right. Chicken in there, too. All right. I just got to throw in some black pepper because it's not food without black pepper. And uh, bon appetit, everybody. Good morning guys. We are at our happy place in in uh, between Sault Ste. Marie and Wawa, Ontario. Batuana North Shore, Batchewana Bay. Bet you want to be here on Batchewana Bay. <laughs> uh, Lake Superior. This is one of our pla favorite places and Rob's going to take you outside. If he stops walking around and jiggling on the floor, Rob's going to take you outside to have a better look. Are you ready Rob? No. Are you ready? You're not ready? You're ready. Let's turn around right. Wait, let me turn around right here first. I'll show my view from here. There's the view I'm looking at. And Rob's going to continue it for you.
yeah we've been really uh socked in here with the fog not unlike the rest of the province but uh yeah it's been uh kind of depressing but <laughs> it's it's ironic we're laying in bed this morning saying hey why don't we get the heck out of here because it's just crazy and now this is what we wake up to this morning beautiful but you can see on the horizon i don't know if we're just in between the fog or what the heck happened but very pretty here so this is where we woke up this morning and the fog is lifted thank god anyway water's very calm which is out of character uh last year we were here in november and you couldn't in all your wildest dreams get near this shore because the water was breaking here so badly anyway this is it beautiful mm -hmm. 